Oh yeah, subsonic car carrier. Hey everyone, I've passed Chazzle here. Welcome back to Dangerous Waters Red Storm Rising campaign with Lwami. We're doing repost again today. I think I figured out an issue from last time. Um, when that two missions ago, uh, not opening moves, Polar Glory, when you stop the Soviet invasion. <clears throat> You are then supposed to prevent, like, at least some of the backfires from spawning by doing that. And when I went back in the campaign file to check on that, um, there's two types of, like, triggers in Dangerous Water's mission editor. There's, like, single mission triggers and there's campaign triggers. The campaign triggers can be referenced by other missions. And the, uh, the Polar Glory mission had single mission triggers, so, like, we did stop the Soviet invasion, but it... I don't think that completed trigger can then be referenced by the repost mission. So that's another mission that I think is bugged. Might test it further, but I may end up releasing a completely fixed Red Storm Rising campaign at some point. So yeah. I'm hoping that's resolved in this here mission. And then maybe this will be a little bit easier, actually. <laughs> I don't know if it's... I think it's supposed to not... I don't think any backfires are supposed to show up if you stop that Soviet landing invasion. Which there's like almost no reason why anyone would never stop it in Polar Glory. So there's almost no point in spawning in backfires and they're freaking buggy to play against. So there's like no point either way to have backfires. Guess we might as well get this thing rocking and rolling here. <clears throat> uh, how you guys doing though? It is Friday. TAO Hilo Control at alert status thirty. TAO Hilo Control Robo Muffin, hello. 15. How's it going? TAO Hilo Control. Thanks for following. Status five. Forgot to say that part. I'm a little under the weather today. Not sure what's going on. Um Dimitri, hello. It is still day. Did this just disappear, or is it just not on any of my beams anymore? Fifty, one, two, five. That was definitely a, a Russian nuke boat. Where was that? Somewhere back this way, behind me. I don't even know if Sonar marked it, or if they've already culled it. They may have culled it already, it's crazy. <clears throat> Set green deck. Oh, barely in that wind envelope again, but we're still there. <laughs> Hilo control. Hilo away. The red's coming from this side now because I got a new lamp. The lamp that I put the red light bulbs in has been missing the top shade for like over two years now. <laughs> I accidentally cracked it on the concrete garage in my old house. But uh, got a new lamp. It's pretty nice, but now with the shade I need brighter bulbs again. <laughs> so Just bought some new bulbs for it. I'm like, oh, no, nope, they're not bright enough. Not red ones, just normal bulbs. Part of me wonders if I shouldn't even just start investing in uh, better lighting. I don't know. It's always a rabbit hole to go down with any kind of tech. Are we, like, tacking? 
is the wind pushing us around because our, our wake is kind of going off to the side and our wake's kind of going back that way. I don't even know if tack's the right word there. The wind is from the east-southeast. 24 knots. <clears throat> trying to get War Thunder content, but it's so hard. No one wants to watch their vids. Yeah, I got lucky with Dangerous Waters. There really wasn't anyone else doing it when I started out. Uh, are you making, like, long or short videos? One thing you can do is try and go out and comment on other people's War Thunder videos. Don't just be, like, come see my stuff, just try and be, just try and engage with the other videos or something, just to try and get clicks. Sometimes people will just click on your comments. If you're making long videos, you can keep doing that, but I'm trying to, like, branch out more into the short videos. The short videos seem to kind of get around more, or try and see what other War Thunder videos people are looking at, and try and, uh, Maybe make stuff like that. Tice, howdy doody. Been a while, good sir. How's it going? Alright, I guess we're running radar silent for this for the moment here. <clears throat> Kilo link established. <laughs> you have control. Roger, out. Oh, uh, let's look around back this way. I don't think that slow could have been any further than about 20 miles. Depends if it's cavitating or not. I'll start at like 10 miles. Hello, Mac. Oh, what's uh, what do we got for Leia? Oh, look at that. That waypoint was almost right exactly where I wanted it to be. This is a CZ, CZ boundary, right? This first video posted yesterday is a lot, lot of a Ford. It's less than four minutes. I came to the realization a few weeks ago that my specialty seems to be tutorial videos, so... Trying to... I think I'm going to get back into trying to do some Dangerous Waters tutorials. Probably finally get into the advanced stuff. I can finally make a Toad Array tutorial now. Whoa, what? Why does the water seem saturated? I don't know. I'm good, Mr. Tice. I'm good. Got a little under the weather bug right now. I'm hoping it's just like some little 24 hour thing. Go away tomorrow. Kind of feeling in and out all day today. Almost feels like sinus infection or almost like post COVID second vaccine symptoms too. So I have no idea what's going on. I don't think it's a sinus infection. Just seemingly come out of nowhere. <clears throat> Advanced DW tutorials would be sick. Oh yeah. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh okay. Recently we watched the stuff about Torb Evasion and Shadow Zone. Yes indeed. I'm about to splash that bear. Yeah, the Shadow Zone stuff was cool. That was a fun video to make. I still need to kind of actually... That's still kind of incomplete. I still need to see... Test that from the surface ship's perspective. Because when I did it from the surface ship's perspective, I was not getting any consistency in detection range. It was very consistent for the submarine against the surface ship. And I got the Sonobuoy thing to finish as well. Hello, Gavna. What's up, Duncan?
393, huh? Okay, well, any Vlad's gonna be beneath the layer then. And Die Far Deeps are beneath the layer too. Ooey, Die Far Shallow. Might as well go Vlad if it's gonna be beneath the layer. How far apart are those? Maybe a mile. That's fine. I wanna keep those kinda close actually. Oh, and Bad Karma 1001, thanks for following. Oh, if you guys got any advanced tutorial ideas too, let me know. I still I have a goal of this year for trying to do my TMA advanced TMA tutorial, but that could be that could be a large a very large undertaking. Yeah, same. Not too much up with me. We're about to get freaking cicadas here in Maryland. Every 17 years, an enormous amount of bugs come out of the ground and make a lot of noise <laughs> for a few weeks. T -A -O -E -W. New track one zero zero seven bearing zero two zero. Bear, we got a bear, a bear, b b, and. Backfire. Does anyone know the source of where the maximum uh, engage range for SM2s is? I was combing the manual the other day and I could not find a hard number for the life of me. I could have sworn I remember seeing like 25 miles somewhere, but I just could not find it. Alright, we're going hot. Screw it. Oh, a lot of effort, okay. How's that game you're playing? Which one are you talking about? Into the Radius? <laughs> oh, what I'm playing right now. Is this a firm solution? I don't know what this is. Bearing, 013. We got bear at 013. It's got it, it looks like an attack vector kind of aiming this way. Makes me think it's not the airplane, so we're gonna go ahead and shoot it. <laughs> Set red deck. Burn away. Engaging track. <clears throat> One, zero, zero, eight. Now let's lose another one. Can the cast shoot that far? I guess so. Burn away. Engaging track. One, zero, zero, eight. What's up with a little dotsy do? Oh, was it much closer than I thought it was? No, okay, I just freaked out for a second. <clears throat> oh, just how is this game overall? Oh, I like it. I've been playing this game for so long. Or do you mean the campaign in, in specificity? I didn't hear an explosion to that hit. I was he leaving my AO. Yeah, there you go, okay. I heard a powie that time, but we may already be may already be found out here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
yeah, consistency is a is a very important thing. And YouTube uploading. Those Cold Water's Epic Mod surface ship videos of mine did pretty well, but I almost felt like I ran out of things to do. I was getting a little bored. <laughs> <clears throat> And then my install epic mod video has like over 5,000 views now. New track, no, not that zero, many, maybe like 3,000. Three, but that's like my best performing video since, uh, like the MNW trailer teaser. Oh my god. Spam numbers are freaking relentless, dude. Zastavair. Hello. No vampires times a hundred, please. <laughs> Not be bueno. <clears throat> Might as well keep that SM2 on the rail. Okay, so I found out for this screen, I thought to engage something, it had to be in the queue. But apparently you can just click it on the map and engage from there according to the manual. We got stuff putzing around out here. 220 knots. Seems slow. Wish she could fly my Seahawk. Yeah, that would be fun. I guess you could do this as like a multiplayer mission. Even that last mission too, opening moves. <clears throat> Boss calling you, torpedo in the water, and vampire inbound. Yeah. Especially them supersonics. TAO EW. New track one, zero, one, two, bearing zero, three, five. Badger. There must be like several planes on that bearing or something. It's like two successive blips and then nothing. And then there's a third just then. F-35 must be distant. I can't see it at all. Oh, the <laughs> my trailer for my channel. Yeah, that might be the best parry mission from the the Russian Rebellion campaign. I think it's North Korea. The North Korea mission. That one's really fun. Oh, I got auto crew in here. I don't need that. T A O E W. New track one zero one six bearing zero four zero T A O E W. New track one zero one seven bearing zero four zero. Sometimes it seems like picking up a badger over here, and sometimes it doesn't. Ten seconds after you're dead, that's a squall. Yeah, sometimes it can be a a bullseye from a uh, excuse me, a bullseye from a <laughs> helicopter or something. At least I don't have the nuclear squall in DW. I think it may be modeled as nuclear. I've seen that thing do damage to a sub from like several boat lengths away. I'm like conventional would do that. It may not be full nuclear, but they may have upped it a little bit just to make it interesting to use from a gameplay perspective. Mm -hmm. 
Conventional wood? I saw a graph of uh, like warhead size to like damage at distance for things, and it seemed like it wouldn't do anything at several several boat lengths. <clears throat> I don't know, though. Vampire inbound, bearing support, sir. zero, four, hey seven. Engine ahead, flank. Launching shaft to port, sir. Come right to course. One, zero, eight. Aye, sir. Vampire inbound, bearing zero, four, nine. That looks like we got some subbies, some subsonicers. Are these even missiles? Oh, I hate it when they call it vampire. They don't give it like a track. These are either missiles or badgers. <laughs> Not sure which. That's got to be interesting, launching like a subsonic cruise missile near the cruise missile's top speed. What would that look like? I'm assuming since it already has, well, the booster, I guess, would push it away. Does it have a booster? Or would it just drop and just start going? Because it has like some initial velocity. But it would eventually reach its own top speed. If it were to accelerate faster away for a second. <clears throat> Whatever these are, they're not coming for me. Don't even think I'll be able to get in range to do anything for them. But again, I don't know if these are actually missiles or planes. <laughs> I guess I could look at the old ESM there. Yeah, see, those seem to be... those are the badgers. Oh, well, some of them seem to be turning this way, at least. Vampire inbound, Monty bearing to port, sir. zero, four, five. Vampire inbound, bearing zero. Oh, four, yeah. Seven. Vampire Subsonic inbound, car bearing. carrier. The same bearings. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, this is not good. Uh, hide the old link there, please. Oh, give me that surface radar, actually. The link's going to give me a freaking headache. Uh, don't tell me the game is like bugging out right now. Hilo, radar, Remro. TAO EW, new track one zero three four bearing zero. Dude, the game is freaking out. I can't engage these. Okay, hold on. New track one zero. But it's plopping around the wrong link. Like, those are actual tracks over here. I can't just change them to missile. Vampire inbound, bearing. New track. Zero, four, zero, one, three, six, vampire inbound, bearing. Zero, four, oh, the game's five, gonna F two, me here, dude. Vampire inbound, bearing. This is insanity. Zero, four, five. <laughs> oh, here we go. Pause. Air. Engage. Engage. 
Engage, please. Oh, these aren't these don't simulate. Oh, maybe one of them is. I'm just going to see what's trying to handle this guy here. There you go. Launching cap to port, sir. Oh man. Nice. That was a weird shot. Where was that? Oh, that I think that missile was going from a chaff or something. I've never seen that before. <clears throat> Air launch subsonic seven has a small booster. Okay. Any news on modern naval warfare? No, not really. There's a some a few new screenshots in my Discord. Um. But yeah, I wouldn't expect the game out until next summer at the earliest. Do I have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. Where do I work? Uh, I'm not gonna say that. I'm just gonna keep that private. So Mr. C was does his job. He did. As long as they're subsonic, you're fine. The supersonics are just like screwed up. And I don't know if like dangerous water, if like sunless right now, time to like better tune those up or something. <clears throat> Lord Lobs, hello. Can't give my unamused face. <laughs> Alright, well, so far I think I have actually fixed the bug. There are no backfires yet. These guys are out of my engage range. Well, it says I can. Oh, maybe Luami tweaked it. Did Luami tweak the, uh... Let's try and look at the manual for a second. The engage range for the SAMs. Oh boy, reading the manual, y'all. Nerd. Oh, for some reason, like, recently, all my Office apps have just been, like, blinking black, and I don't know why. It doesn't show up on the stream. It's only on this monitor. It's got to be, like, a driver thing, I guess. Uh, what am I looking for here? 29. These might just be changes for this version, not overall changes. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> okay, so I guess they, they took off the hard cut, and I have line of sight to those targets so I can track them. Maybe that, that was always the case? I don't know. But I might be able to engage those guys all the way out there. The SM2 can definitely get out that far. See was effectiveness has been decreased. Boom, 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 boom. DW's ability to calculate lead is very poor. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's uh engage then. Maybe the quick launch has just given me that ability, but it's not actually gonna shoot. Oh wait, well I don't want to shoot at a link track anyway. SM2 unavailable. D assign. A sign. Yeah, okay, so it's not even letting me fire, so I think the 25 mile thing still does apply. <clears throat> TAO, EW. 
New track one zero five one bearing zero. Or two four, pairs that had the front launch replaced with the rolling airframe. Oh no, did not know that. I live in the United States. Was not happy with the range of the rolling airframe. Wasn't rolling airframe supposed to be point defense? I want to see when this fire button is going to light up. Oh, just lit up. Oh, 30 miles, okay. Burn away. Engaging track. One, zero, one, four. I could have engaged that bear a little earlier. <clears throat> now let's give him some hurt. Burn away. Engaging track. One, zero, one, four. Navy wants everything to do everything. <laughs> Ability to shoot longer range from a platform is desirable. Yeah, but there's Aegis. Oh, I hope we get a hit. Something's like getting a little cheeky over here. It needs to be dealt with. Bam, it sounds like a hit to me. Break. Oh, I guess that one could have kept going. <laughs> Didn't need to blow it up. Oh, there's another dude down there. Okay. <laughs> They're just flying through my airspace. Burn away. Engaging track. One, zero, one, five. Oh, no, 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 no. That's an airliner. <laughs> Jesus. Is it right at... Okay, yeah, it's like right at 60 miles. 60,000 miles. 60,000 60, yards. <laughs> it was almost a fucking war crime. It died last time, so it doesn't count. <laughs> but they were none the wiser. Ugh. 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 It seems like if it then moves beyond your engage range, it can still... go out there to shoot at it. I don't think that hit, but he's about to be out of range. Miss. All right, what's up with that other buoy? Do, 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 do. Oh wait, actually, yeah. Well, we want you to go back to acoustic now. Nothing on the Vlad. Okay. Is deep inside the shadow zone. From anything over here. Where'd it go? Something weird happened. Oh, now it's turning. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <clears throat> 
Oh, yeah, once it gets closer, it gets more energy to see. Yes, that makes sense. I want to say we got all the missiles in the world, but we can. There's not many other threats at the moment. We can be a little more selective with our shooting here. Yeah. Engine ahead full. Come left to course. Zero, eight, two. I'm sure. <clears throat> the new frigate's not going to be a frigate. Yeah. I feel like they just called it a different name because they just want a newer ship <laughs> and want people to pay for it. I don't know. I don't keep up with the politics of the procurements. Yeah, absolutely nothing on that blood. One, Excuse zero, me. Five, eight, bearing one, four, zero. Excuse me again. I was getting a helo aloft. What's that? A missile go into nowhere. From where? Heh <laughs> You guys didn't see anything. <laughs> Slap a VLS on the parry. That would be cool. I wonder if he even has the space for it. Where is the SM2 pointed at the moment? Am I still painting something? No. Did I shoot down airliner? Not this time. Shot it down last time, though. <laughs> Make turns for one. Oh, this nine, has not been on auto crew. New passive track one zero. Oh boy. Nine, Shut up. <laughs> we don't need to mark all these ships. Zero, Car carriers. Sonar I don't, is there even like a need for a frigate? Is it just because it's smaller and less resource intensive than a destroyer? Because the Burks can do everything that Perry could, can't they? I'm waiting for Tycosas to chime in again and be like, shut that guy up. Oh my god, dude, shut up. SQR-19 is the toad, isn't it? I did actually want to like bring the uh, the sensors up. The list of sensors from the manual. So I can be like, what the heck am I detecting with what? Oh god. Some update happened to this and I can't have... I don't know where my fit to window thing went. Zoom. Page display. Where did it go and why? Come on. I, I, there's like the one display where it like shows one page and you scroll and it moves one whole page. Being a pain in my freaking nurse.
Dot, 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 dot. I think I missed the table of contents. Oh, this is killing me, dude. There it is, Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. SQR19 Total Ray. That's all I wanted. Left and right arrows. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. Okay, boomer. Why'd you retire the parry? I don't know, but you can always assume money. I have no strong feelings either way as to whether it should have stayed or went. I'm not a uh, strategist, whatever you want to say. Moneyist. Oh, this guy's just out here frickin' uh, dipping. That might be it. We might be done. Hey, okay, you're back under the layer. You can get turned back on. I guess we could take a manual peek. I wish they would just let you go back and forth between beams at this screen here, the single beam. But that don't. And short time scale does not seem to do anything. This button. I refuse to believe that it does anything. Procurementist. <laughs> Hello, Magoo151. Okay, so they just got to the point where you should, like, replace your car, too. <laughs> That's why I got rid of my old Subaru. Looks pretty clear to me. Aren't they, like, aluminum? The Perrys, didn't they have, like, cracking issues? <clears throat> like, the superstructure's aluminum? Drop old things, drop old things. We don't need old things. <laughs> Look at all the pretty lights, all the all the contacts. Oh, that's the Remro that was picking all that crap up. I wish there was a way to be like, this sensor, delete all tracks. There's so many things I want to convenientize my life. <laughs> oh, we're actually picking this guy up on the surface search radar, are we? Hey, we're gonna. No, sir. not that one. They can leave that out. Aye, sir. But yeah, I think that that last missile that my C was got. I think it was going for a decoy. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's like Cold Water's Epic Mod style. I don't think we have eyes on any of these guys. We're too far away. Yeah, way too far away. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, it's beyond the f the far draw plane for Dangerous Waters, which I think is like 15 miles. It's aluminum. It's aluminum. I remember the first time I heard it called aluminum. I was in like, uh, I think I was like 16 in school in chemistry class. Aluminum. Thank <laughs> you. 
God damn it, it's a loom of freedom. Something. Is there a Hilo or something just kind of putzing along here? Lynx. Why is the parry getting a Hilo ready? I don't remember it doing it last time. Guess I can do it at once. Waypoint. I guess we should actually be looking in front of us instead of behind us here. Buoy. Oh, you can draw circles on here. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Okay, that's cool. I just for some reason assumed that wouldn't be a thing. That's sweet. I don't see aluminium with a flag on the moon. <laughs> there probably is actually aluminum up there somewhere, some shape or another. All right, I'll be right back. Is it gonna tell me when I'm done? Or what? That is something I've not been enjoying about Redstorm Rise in this playthrough, is kind of ambiguous goals and end states. I'm at a point in life where a man just wants to know when a game's done. <laughs> what is this supposed to be? Whatever it is, I'm sure I'm not picking it up on the toad array. That's for damn sure. Oh, no, that's ESM. Okay. <laughs> SQR 19th the toad. It's going the same speed as everything else. P400 inbound X, X10. What's the P400 in the NATO codes? I mostly just know the NATO codes when it comes to missiles. <clears throat> but yeah, I think my bug fix worked. There were no backfires. That is a horrific bug. There should not be... If you've played this campaign and this mission, there should not be any backfires if you destroyed all the LCACs in the Iceland mission. And that was not the case the last time I did this mission. The backfires were still there. <clears throat> Sandbox. SSN 12. 2.5, holy crap. What shoots this thing? Is this from like a, uh, Savramani? Figmo, hello. What's that contact ding ding? It's the cure off. Yo, Jesus. Kiev, cure off. Okay. I thought the cure off shot a. Uh, shipwrecks. Or is that the Kuznetsov? <laughs> Depends on the Kirov. 
Uh, I'm going to check the mission status just to see if we're done. We are done. Okay. It says complete. Protect the convoy incomplete. Well, when do I finish protecting the convoy? <clears throat> QZ shoots shipwrecks. Okay. That is what I thought. Now it's just time lapse it. Instead of just sitting here at normal speed. Why both my SM2 and C Wiz are pointed forward? What's going on with the C Wiz? Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, I was it still in the position it was when it shot down that uh that missile. Oh, see, look, my tracking radar is still pointed off that way, too. <clears throat> Kirov can shoot shipwrecks, just doesn't normally. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Negative 73,472,775 rounds. I've never tried to do this thing manually, I don't think. Be curious to see if you can get better performance out of it. I doubt it. It's meant to be done automatically, isn't it? Take some pot shots at stuff. <laughs> I'm curious if this helo has been here this whole time flying in formation with the convoy. Oh, there's the cell shaded Duke again. <clears throat> You've shot down a missile on the <laughs> on the Medusa. That's amazing. I don't know why it looks like the sun's somewhere. Like, it's like 3 in the morning, dude. Looking for icebergs at this point. The Bushmasters, yeah. I just wish it was, like, easier to, like, aim these things when it's... When the boat's, like, rocking and rolling, like, the frickin'... The bullets just kind of go wherever they want. The crosshair does not account for, like, elevation. It's very odd. <clears throat> At least there's tracers, though. Incoming transmission. There you go. Come left to course. Cool. Zero, seven, five. Aye, sir. Make turns for one, six knots. <clears throat> Aye, sir. Soviet bomber attacks failed to stop the convoy from reaching out. Arrival of the war supplies not only vital to the success of the battle for Germany, stiffen the resolve of our NATO allies. Walk the tracers in. Yeah. It's just, uh... 
from a video game standpoint, it should go where the crosshair is, but it doesn't really matter. You can just walk it in. Sweet. We shot down our bear and our badger. Don't y'all know. Alright, what time is it? Let's go to the next one.